Hello crafty friends, welcome to another Not Just Christmas in July video. Today I'm going to use these supplies to make a Christmas card for you and then off camera I'm going to make some non-Christmas cards using the same design ideas. So do stick around to the end of the video and I will show you what I've made. So first things first, I'm going to do some smushing. So I've got tumbled glass distress oxide, which is a lovely pale blue and great, I think, for snowy themed cards. I know snow isn't blue, but it's a nice cold colour for that kind of thing. And I've got my smusher here. I've added water to the ink to turn it into a paint. And I'm going to smush in the bottom, well it will be the bottom left hand corner, that's right, the bottom left hand corner like that not too much keeping it fairly restrained and now i'm going to dry that with my hair dryer and now i'm going in with another layer keeping it to within this area and this should create a sense sense of depth and now i'll dry it again now i want to add another color i'm going to use shaded lilac maybe not the kind of color you'd associate with christmas cards but it works with the blue and is quite cool again giving you that cold feel now i've got my mini smusher this is just a domed blending sponge on the end of one of these wooden handles wrapped in plastic and held in place with a hairband and i can pick up a bit of ink and sort of smush it around to add my purple and i'm really kind of just pouncing it to get some splatty shapes. I've managed to splash some up here but that's okay I can lighten those dots a bit. I'm going to dry that and then come back to it and as I've got a bit of shaded lilac paint left there I'm going to add a little bit of this cosmic shimmer pixie powder in white pearl mixer and that's going to make the paint shimmery now and masking this bit off again because I don't want splatters up there particularly I can now splatter this on and my splatters when they're dry will have a lovely shimmer and shine to them and be exactly the right colour for the ink that I've added already so that will do so I hope you can see that shimmer and shine now if you find your paper curls because of all the water and the heating, you can iron it, protect it with a bit of paper first or protect your iron before you iron it. You can put it under a big heavy book for a while. You can run it through a die cutting machine, but put some paper to protect it from scratches on your cutting plates. But this is warped, but not overly warped and it will flatten out once it's stuck on the front of a card. But before I stick this down to my card, I want to add some snowflakes and I've got this silver glitter cardstock and I'm going to cut a bunch of snowflakes from this. When doing something like this, I find it quite helpful just to get a bit of tape like washi tape or masking tape and tape the dies together and then they act almost as one die. It stops them sliding all over the shop. And because I'm cutting through glitter cardstock, which can be a bit stubborn, I'm adding a cardstock shim just to increase the pressure. And I also find it helpful with glitter cardstock to run my die through twice and they look like they've cut just fine. So there we have a bunch of snowflakes. I'm going to add them as if they are falling down the card I think something like this to glue them down I'm going to use high tack PVA glue I've just speared, speared some no smeared some on my glass mat and I just dip them in and add them to my card I can press them down with some non-stick deli paper just so I don't get mucky fingerprints all over my card And I'm going to chop off the overhang. I think I will add this one down here as well. It's going to possibly use some of the overhang, but I think it'll just be easier if I do this. And maybe a little bit of one sneaking in there. And just up here, I'm going to add just the tiniest little peak 
of another flake. My card blank is just shy of four by six inches. But this rectangle panel that I cut with a, a die, I think is size two American card sizes. So I'm gonna chop this little bit at the bottom off. So I'm umming and ahhing about what color to add my Merry Christmas sentiment in. I'm going to try it in tumbled glass and I'm also going to try it in silver to see which one works best. I think actually I'm going to throw in a bit of shaded lilac as well just so that there's a bit of both. I'm using the wrong colour brush for this but never mind. We've got Merry Christmas in tumbled glass with a touch of shaded lilac. I quite like that. And Merry Christmas, oops, come on you, in silver. Hmm, I'm wondering about silver actually. Or I wonder if, um, it's going to be really, really fiddly, I could use the tumbled glass as a drop shadow. You know what, to keep it light and airy, I'm going to go with the silver glitter. I want to add a tiny little bit more glitter because you can never have enough glitter on Christmas cards, I don't think. And I've used this wobbly circle die to cut some wobbly circles out of my silver glitter cardstock and I'm just going to sprinkle a few here and there amongst the snowflakes. Right that's this card done I think. I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. I think it's got a nice wintry ethereal feel to it. What I'm going to do now is toddle off and make some more non-Christmas cards using this design idea and then I will share with you what I've made. See you in a tick. I'm back and I've got eight more cards made for you using this design idea. Smushing in the corner, adding some shimmery shiny die cuts and a sentiment up here. So that's the one you've seen. Here's a pinky one that I did. I smushed on seedless preserves and picked raspberry, I believe, and used gold foil cardstock to cut out some splat die cuts. Added their little extra little splatty blobs and a gold foiled halo up in the corner there. For this one, I went yellow and pink. So I've got scattered straw in the background with kitsch flamingo distress oxide. I cut some ice lollies out of gold foil cardstock and tumbled them down the page again. Added some hearts instead of dots for the little sprinkles and a gold foiled happy birthday up there. So I think that's got a real celebratory feel to it. And I always think these colours are kind of ice creamy colours. The inks on this one were tea dye and rusty hinge. And I cut some cogs from copper glitter cardstock and added a happy birthday up there. For this one, I used dried marigold and saltwater taffy distress oxide. Cut some butterflies, three large butterflies and a bunch of smaller butterflies from gold glitter cardstock and a halo. So that's just a nice little greetings card. The inks on this one were bundled sage and iced spruce. And as I decided to go green, I thought I would add some leafy bits. I used black glitter cardstock for this. For some reason, this die cut and these little die cuts always make me want to do them in black. I think it's their kind of folk artsy vibe and I think they pop really nicely on there and I've added a so grateful as a sentiment. This is another nice floaty one I think. It was salvage patina and peacock feathers in the background and some gold foiled feathers with some wonky circles and a here for you. For my penultimate card I went coffee themed and used vintage photo and walnut stain in the background die cut a large coffee cup it does have a heart cut out of the middle of it and you could see through to the background behind which was fine but i thought i'll bring a bit of this white down here so i popped a white heart in there 
and I know I just said it was coffee themed but it could just as easily be tea themed and so I've got some gold foil tea bags tumbling down here and a thanks you could pop a gift card in there to someone's favorite coffee shop I think and my last card is a love card I use tattered rose and Victorian velvet for the inks die cut some hearts and some flowers from gold foil cardstock and added a love up there so there we go nine cards all made using the same design idea similar tools and supplies but nine quite different results i hope you're enjoying this not just christmas in july series if you'd like me to carry it on after july so maybe do one or two christmas card videos a month say until the festive season then do let me know in the comments Right, I think that'll do for me today. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.